got the perfect little vlog camera ledge here i so gosh the longer i'm at this apartment the longer or the more i'm like wish it was mine to decorate because it just is such a cool space with furniture that is the bare minimum anyway making breakfast then i'm gonna go on a quick little run just trying to get some exercise every day build that habit again and actually finish my video because i need to do that like i just want to redo this kitchen i don't even mind it being a galley kitchen but like you know add some cool tile and make it like just updated but it's just the archway i love the archway this archway obsessed all the windows oh. And the view outside, you get some little palm trees. It's just beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go on a quick little run. Nothing too crazy. My legs are very sore from the workout class I did yesterday. So, you know, it's always good to mix it up with like strength and cardio so that you don't like tear your muscles even more. So, ah. I haven't gone on a nice run in a while in the area of this Airbnb and I think it's really, really great for running. So always love that. The area that I lived last in LA was like not the best for running. I would go on runs, but there were so many stop signs and like it would just really take you out of the flow because you really just had to pay attention to cars, to pay attention to not getting hit by a car. So it was weird. And then especially when COVID restrictions were more strict and everyone was wearing a mask outside, it was like I would be running without one but then if i saw a person i would put it on yeah don't miss those times but excited to get outside this is your reminder exercise just makes you feel so good i love it my legs are so sore after that run wow okay that was a beautiful spot though i ran to the beach lighting here is so perfect so quickly gonna get ready and start recording all right don't mind i'm wearing the same thing as yesterday okay it's for continuity for the video okay <laughs> it's too bad i have to go return that tripod i have to wait for best buy to open too all right, I've really been liking this way of curling my hair where you use a clamp. It holds better the next day and it's less damaging than straightening it. And I just think it looks better and I'm just so glad I discovered it. So I wanted to share that. It just is kind of taking a minute and then I can get into recording this video. I'm definitely having some creative block of trying to think of like cool videos to record. Just not so so excited about any of the ideas i have at the moment but there is one that i want to do that i've thought about for a while and you know what you know what i'll talk about it in this vlog because maybe maybe somebody would want to be a part of it so i've been wanting to do a video about kind of like plastic surgery in general but more specifically fillers because i just think there's a lot we don't know about them one of the most popular ones for lip fillers is called juvederm and people are now jokingly calling it movederm because while they say juvederm says that it dissolves in nine months a lot of people have noticed that it doesn't actually dissolve it moves it moves around so you'll find like a weird little bubble thing right there because i got lip filler like three years ago and i noticed it do that i was like what the heck so i just i don't know i'm like is this stuff safe like it really hasn't been around that long they say it's a naturally occurring substance in your body it's hyaluronic acid but like i have a feeling synthetic hyaluronic acid versus the natural kind is different i don't know i just think it would be interesting i'd love to interview people that have had filler in years later kind of what they think about it just sort of documentary style videos so if any Anyone's in LA and you've had filler and you like it or you dislike it or you have thoughts on it in general, message me on Instagram because maybe it could be in the video. I want to do that video, but I'm also like, it feels a bit random for my channel and I feel like the YouTube algorithm right now is being so brutal. Like if you have one video that does bad, the following ones are not going to get served to nearly as many people I've noticed. So it makes you not want to do as many wild card videos like that, but that's kind of what my channel is all about. That is personally why I am trying to have different forms of income, like having the Airbnb and whatever. So you don't have to rely on an algorithm. Just trying to finish this up so I can get going while the lighting is still good. Okay, recording this video. Here we go. 
I like this shot. It looks super cool. I'll show you guys. So I think you can kind of see there, but you see the archway in it. It's just like got a lot of depth. It's really cool. I might do the thumbnail here. Okay, here we go. For the past four months, I've had no lease, no home, and just been traveling around. Okay, only partially way through recording this video, but I'm very limited only using the mini tripod that I have So I'm gonna go exchange the one I bought yesterday for one that actually works And I'm gonna check this time to make sure it has a little plate So I will make it a lot easier to record. I'm having to just like see okay I can put it on this table. I can put it on that ledge. There are a good amount of spots But it definitely limits you um, if you have to rely on like furniture <laughs> partially as your tripod Okay, let's go got the new tripod that was slightly inconvenient but they at least gave me the open box price for this one finally a working tripod they charged me for like the open box price even though this is a brand new one so that's nice since i went through the hassle of returning it and i checked this one to make sure i will say this is a nice tripod i'm definitely like excited about it oh, for a second i thought i didn't have the plate i was like wait what okay so this is the piece that was missing in the other one and like, without it a tripod is like kind of useless <laughs> this will do okay now we can really get some good shots for this video i really do not feel like even recording this today i would rather be like in a coffee shop editing it just feels so quiet in here i don't know realities of youtube it's like this video is a little boring to shoot i will say and I am like halfway done with it, so I want to finish it. But other than that, I'm like, okay, I really should need to think of some like more cool ideas because this one is not it. So this video, I'm mostly just shooting in this apartment, but I'm also going to be using B-roll from my travels of the past few months. To make it more interesting though, while just staying in here, I like to just switch up the location, different backgrounds within the same place. It can really make a video more interesting. So just like little tip for for you there i guess i feel like that's a basic one but it just helps a lot it's a lot more effort but i don't know like it makes it way more interesting so that's what we're doing just recorded some voiceovers okay i have most of this shot i'm just going to cut it together and see what else i need to get but it is just too quiet in this apartment like i need to get out so I'm going to go uh, get food and edit at this little lunch type spot. Uh, just not super motivated today, I'm not going to lie. All right, okay, let's go. overexposed wow okay got some editing done there however i'm finding the sony camera that i got it just it's so slow on my computer i either need to get a new computer or return this camera because it's slowing down my process so much and i know that you can create proxy files and all this stuff but it's like i could explain it just it every little thing that slows down your process i feel like just makes it not worth it, but I'll figure it out. I need to get a new external hard drive though, so let's stop by Target. Just got to LAX and picking up Sam. He's gonna stay in LA for a few days. He had some stuff to do here. I thought it would be funny, you know how people hold those signs at the airport that says your name for like when they have a driver or whatever. I have my iPad, so I'm gonna like stand there and see. <laughs> see if he walks right past me or notices it and I'm like wait what randomly nicest sunset man the clouds so nice what is this the vlog morning i accidentally left my vlog camera in the car anyway i have my one year although it's now been like a year and a half <laughs> post-op appointment from jaw surgery basically i just want to make sure it's all like lining up properly because i feel that my teeth still aren't aligned how they should be and i want to make sure my tongue isn't affecting things so just go do that don't really feel like going now that the appointment's here, but yeah. Whoa, I finally updated my car to version like 11. A few items have moved. This is cool that they give you a tutorial on where stuff is, I like that. I have an ortho 
the dentist appointment this morning and I have not enough car battery to get there and back. I realized this supercharger coming in clutch. Okay, focus. There we go. Oh, I have 10 minutes to spare, so it should be fine. Should be able to get enough battery for there and back for sure. And hopefully for just like the rest of the day. I don't really want to have to come back to another supercharger. Okay, 65 miles. That should do it. I'll have to charge after though. Okay, let's go in. Maybe today's the last day of having Invisalign. I'm not really sure. I don't think so, but I hope. I'm super sick of it. Okay, good news. I only need one more month of Invisalign. They cut my tray a little bit and like polished some teeth down. This lighting is so bad. Anyway, I'm charging my car now. Getting some more steps in. Just such a beautiful day. Like this is literally why I came to LA this month. All right, killing time while my car charges. I am completely out of space on my hard drive. And I also need some socks. I think I found my new favorite of the moment, sparkling water type beverage. There is truth that rents are increasing, but no, they're not rising as much as 40%. And finally, fourth, in terms of the new normal, here's what this means for you and the overall housing market. The world is giant spanning. This is the reality of living in Los Angeles. And I forgot how bad it was. Traffic, ugh. It's every major city though, I will say. I just feel like more places need public transportation that's good and walkability. It's just so something I've become very passionate about anyway. really kind of have trash the Airbnb here. Oops. So I was reading the comments of my latest vlog and a lot of people are like commenting stuff about me being productive and I just want to let you guys know I'm not always productive. We just went on a walk for like three hours. Can't confirm. It was nice, but I don't want to perpetuate the idea that you need to be productive all the time. I fall into that trap myself where I feel like I need to be productive all the time. Unless you like literally do need to, like you're not gonna be able to pay rent if you aren't or whatever. But other than that, a lot of people are just for no reason on the hamster wheel. Most people are actually only productive four hours a day. Your brain can only work like probably four good hours, right? You have some, you have some days where you grind a little harder, but like four hours, pretty solid. Anything other than that, sometimes it's overkill. You just want to be efficient with your time. That's the key. True, true. So, yeah, but I was able to pick up a new external hard drive because mine is like completely full, so my editing has been just so slow. And then I'm slowly trying to upload every, all, every file I have to a cloud-based system, so I have a backup of everything. So if I'm traveling and I don't have a hard drive with me, I can grab it, but the issue is it takes super long to upload that stuff. So I'm gonna start trying to do that overnight. Some of you disciples out there, can you let me know what your internet speed is? Because if you're out of the United States, the United States is notorious for having the worst internet connection. Oh, really? Yeah, we have the worst internet. So like we pay exorbitant prices for very terrible internet speeds. I've been looking for gigabit and I can't get it really it's anywhere hard. residential. It's hard to find. I know. So it's weird because you talk to some people that maybe in like different countries and they have great internet. A lot of places in New York, they have like the fiber optic, whatever. Yeah, it depends on the construction of the building too. A lot of that. Like, yeah. Very frustrating. Very. Disciples. <laughs> oh god. No, I feel like when people say fans, they like think they're like super famous or whatever. It's like calm down, you're a YouTuber. Yeah. Instead you just lead lead a religious movement. <laughs> And text right support. from the FaceTime image. Yeah, flip it around. Hmm. Okay, so do you have Finder open? All right, got a bit of editing done. Not a ton, but now we're gonna go get dinner with Jill and her boyfriend Connor at this place that's, I think, kind of new in Venice. Looks cool. I'm sure I'll get a little iPhone shot. Alright guys, that is it for this vlog. Sorry if it was a little bit sporadic. I feel like I didn't do as good of a job vlogging this week because I kept going to this place where you're not allowed to film and I was catching up with people I hadn't seen in a while and I just don't like 
shoving a camera in, in their face like I don't know I only like to vlog with people I'm comfortable with and not in a situation where I think it would be odd or where I wouldn't want them to do that to me if that makes sense yeah there wasn't as much vlogging but now i'm a little more settled in here so i probably will be more this week and i hope that you enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video